So how is stress ruining your relationships? Basically, the way that you show up in any relationship is going to affect the dynamic. It's going to affect how the other person responds to you. And so if you, like, if you have a bad night's sleep, you are going to be more agitated to what's going on. And so when some, if say you're in a partnership and you are stressed, you're going to respond very differently to um, something that might trigger you, right? So say someone does something that, um, that, that triggers like part, part of you, you may react in a way that is way bigger than necessary because of your state. And this has happened like so many times um, to me when I've been like, when I haven't had enough sleep, I have felt myself like mean, mean. Like I felt myself like just angry. Um, and what that does is it changes your energy that you're putting out there. And it creates a, this kind of energy rather than if you're in a loving, calm state, it's a very welcoming energy, right? And so that's why I personally, I put my morning practice as my number one priority because how I show up to the rest of the world affects all of my relationships. So, and also when I'm in that loving space, I'm, I'm a, being a magnet for all that is good. And I am attracting goodness. I'm attracting people on that same frequency. If I am p propelling the frequency of stress, anxiety, then that is what I'm attracting. And a, the biggest gift you can ever give your partner and Tony Robbins says this all the time, is to be in a good state physically, right? So that is why I use breath work in the morning and meditation because it changes my physical state, my breath work. It's like, it changes my physical state. And then I show up differently. And if you say are visiting family and perhaps family has been really hard for you hi welcome perhaps family has been really hard for you to visit right and maybe even you're stressed before you're visiting them and so already you are in a stressful state even before you're not there and so you're imprinting that image into the future already. And quantum mechanically, we're all connected. So if you are already imprinting that into a situation, they might even be picking up on that and feeling that. So the biggest gift you can give yourself and them is to change your physical state. And the more you do this, the more it will become who you are every day. And if you do the deep work of getting to the subconscious and doing subconscious um, trauma work that gets to the root cause of your anxiety, because stress really is just anxiety. And uh, a lot of the time there, there, there are good there are good types of stress and I'll get into that in a minute but um, if you are um, putting yourself into a calm state then you are going to be able to handle whatever state they're in so say you have family members that are um, very stressed 
what can happen is when we or anyone right what can happen is we can merge with that energy and if we're not really really secure in our own being and our own energy we can just pick up on their energy and feel it in our body especially if you're sensitive or you're um, like an empath and you're easily affected by other people's energy then that can make you stressed and even and if you have the memory of what it was like in the past seeing them then that can make you stress even before and so you're agreeing with that reality but if you practice meditation and other forms of changing your state and as I've said like breath work is one of my absolute favorites because it's such a physical state change you will see a massive massive difference in your interactions even with someone who is already stressed but if you turned up stressed, then you're just going to enhance that dynamic and it's just imprinting more of those um, patterns Thank you.